Welcome to the shop everyone. Today we're going to be putting 4 bolt main caps on a 2 bolt main 454. I bought the steel caps off of eBay. I also bought some ARP studs and I bought some new taps. Uh, starting tap and finishing taps because the holes that you drill in the engine because it's a side oiler 454 you can't drill real deep so I wanted a bottom tap so I could finish the threads as far down as I could uh, here's the caps put on the engine I uh, was gonna set it up kinda like a small block Chevrolet 4 bolt main but I had four caps so I decided to use all of them on it So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the caps one through four that I'm going to replace and I'm measuring like this is number one and I measure how wide it is as zero the calipers and then what I'll do is I'll measure the new cap that's been replaced the number one uh, cap and uh, see how close they are as far as the width goes and what I found is they're about six thousandths wider than the factory cap so I will machine those down to where they're identical to each other so here I am stoning the main caps prepping them for the surface grinder so you take this stone and you sort of like file it around on all the flat edges to make sure there's no burrs or anything standing up tall that'll make it sit crooked on the surface grinder so that's all I'm doing here just prepping them all making sure they're good and flat so when I put them on a surface grinder they'll grind flat so here I'm torquing down the main caps and I want to get my dial bore gauge and do a good housing measurement after they're torqued down to kind of see where the you know the, what the spec is so when I go boring the new caps I can try to get real close to what the factory had it Here's the caps in the surface grinder. I'm gonna be machining about five thousandths off the pads of the caps. And I'm also I'm machining them all together at one time just so they'll be identical to each other. And this grinder does leave a very nice surface finish when you're done. It'll look really nice. So now I have them set up in the surface grinder where I can grind the ends. Uh, earlier in the video I measured them with my calipers and so like number one cap I'm grinding to measure the same width as the original number one cap is. So when I bolt them together and then put them in my uh, Bridgeport vise and I bore them together that way they'll be equal, they'll be the same as the original one will be. So now I have both caps bolted together. They're both going to be number one. I have them in the mill vise, and I'm using a test indicator to indicate the top half or the original cap in to zero. So now when I bore it, see the bottom cap, the bore size isn't as big as the old cap. So I need to bore out the new cap to the same size as the original cap. And uh, it seems to work out really well. Oh man, that's looking good. Let's give it a check with the dial board gauge. Huh, looking good. So now with it bored out the size, let's give it a little bit of a deburr with a die grinder. Hit it with a file, get some of the sharp edges off, and get, get it ready to be installed on the block itself. And it's looking quite nice. So I ended up just putting the caps on the engine and using a transfer punch to mark where I needed to drill holes in the block for the new studs or the outer bolts. And it seemed to work out well that way. So I got the cap on the block. Uh, looks like it's lining up really, really nice. That's what we wanted. 
let's get the block up on the bridge port and I had used that transfer punch to put marks in the block so I'd know where to drill so I'm just finding exactly lining everything up to that I'm gonna drill it and on the side oilers I don't know about the other big blocks but the side oilers uh, by print you can only drill so deep because I think it'll drill into an oil passage and so I only drill I got a stop set up on the mill itself to where it can't drill too deep. I'm just doing the chafer, kind of measuring that, make sure they're all equal. Then I'll use a starter's tap and uh, use the machine to get it running good and straight, and square. And when it starts slipping in the chuck, I'll stop and do it by hand the rest of the way. And after that bottoms out, I'll get the finishing tap. That'll tap a little bit deeper than the starter tap will. And finish it out with it. All going pretty good. So there's some of the holes drilled out and tapped. Looking nice. Got a few more to drill, then I'm gonna go ahead and install the studs. So here's with everything drilled out, the studs installed. Looking really nice. That's with the caps on. All the caps line, line up really, really well. Then I'm gonna put the caps on and actually I'm gonna bolt this one down and torque it and kind of measure what the housing bore is. Now I kind of went for like a five thousandths uh, interference fit or five thousandths smaller than the spec that the factory gives you. So I'm still gonna line hone the machine, you know, the, the engine block, line hone it and bring it out. And so right now it's about five thousandths on the low side of what the factory spec is. So now, is it the rear cap, it's still gonna be two bolt main. And so right here, I'm just dressing the bottom of it, getting it good and square. And on these big blocks, uh, the oil pump, where it bolts to, is actually at a slight angle. So you can't like take those pins out and then grind it flat and flip it upside down. So I just use a one, two, three blocks. To hold it square, surface the bottom side of the pad. And then I just like got the die grinder out and started detailing it. Just ground off all the flashing, just ground it smooth, uh, smooth out the oil passages, real nice where the oil pump bolts on. So all the grinding's just about done. Here's the finished cap. Looking pretty good there. Happy with that, how it turned out. Here's with all the caps installed on the engine. I think it turned out really, really nice. Uh, I finished the caps. They've got about five thousandths under the bore size it needs to be. So I had it line honed, and this is after it came back from the shop being line honed. So the caps are installed and it's ready to be put together. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit me with a like, subscribe to the channel, and we hope to see you on the next video. Thanks so much.